Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how much trouble the PFL is in. I mean, their fighter roster is unbelievable. I mean, just starting out with like they have heavyweights. Blagoy Ivanov, 37. He's 19-7, 7-2 in Bellator. It's not that good though if you look at how many fights he's lost recently. It's not been great. He's been cut from the UFC because he couldn't win a fight. Now, I like Blagoy Ivanov, but he's not necessarily an exciting fighter. Uh, Litton Vassell, 24-9, 40. Uh, Valentin Madovsky, Ma Madovsky, sorry, Madovsky, 32. Steve Maui, 31. Anti, uh, who just got destroyed by Valentin uh, Moldovsky, Moldovsky, goodness. Uh, you know, he just got destroyed by him. He's 33, 33, 34, 34, 31, 35, 34, 42. Daniel James, who's had a career resurgence. You know, Alig Popov is 32. Sergey, oh, what is this name? The guy that beat Blagoy Ivanov. Sergey Bilostany, 12 and 3. He's 28, 32 here. Not been great. He didn't look good against Marcelo Nunes, who's not great himself. You know, light heavyweight, 37, 32. That guy hasn't been good in, since the um, Yoel Romero fight. Um, uh, this other guy, I cannot pronounce his name. He beat Jacob Ned Nedoy, uh, uh, Shoe Face. Uh, he's 34, 33, uh, 32, 31. He was Josh Silveria. Um, 27, which, okay, cool, but he lost. He's only 8-2. and two. Impa, who's 30. I like Impa a lot. He's probably going to have a lot of success because a lot of these guys in this division is old and not great. Tom Breeze falls apart in big fights. These divisions are old, old, old. A lot of experience. Tiago Santos should not be fighting. You know, Tom Breeze is okay. He still could probably beat some bad fighters, but okay. Uh, Jacob lost. He's only 8-2, and two, like I said. Eh, not great. Josh Silveria, 13-2. and two. He's okay. Not bad. Rob Wilkerson, pop for PEDs. These first two divisions, light heavyweight and heavyweights, are old. Experienced, but like... Uh, the guy that lost to Shoeface, he's only 9-4 and four when he's 33 years old. I get it's light heavyweight, but it's it's not good. Rob Wilkinson's 18-2, and two, beat Tom Breeze, but he's 32 and he popped for PEDs. Outside of the UFC against Thiago Santos. That's disgusting. Middleweight, Ray, Ray Cooper, Derek Brunson. Ray Cooper's 31, 25-10 and 10 and 25, 10 and 1, 12-5-1 and 1 in the PFL slash Bellator record. It's Ray Cooper. I like Ray Cooper a lot. But sometimes, mentally, he's not in his fights. That's the reality. Hits like a Mack truck. There's ways to get him out of there. Garrett Brunson's 40. I don't care that he beat Ray Cooper. He's not that good. He's never been that good. When's the best that he ever looked? Well, probably when he beat um, uh, Uriah Hall with a probably early stoppage. Okay. Okay. Welterweight, Andre uh, Koroshov, 35, 33. Brendan Ward, which I like Brendan Ward, but he's not that good. 35 years old. Godi Yamaguchi, Yam Yamauchi, 31, 35, 31, 34, 32, 33. The guy that beat Brendan Ward, 11, 4, and 1, is 33 out of his prime. Now, will he do well? Maybe, because it's PFL. I mean, come on. Loriano Storopoli, who lost 13 and 6, never really worked out. Thad Jean, who 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 won his fight in in the PFL three, just just won it. 25. Okay, cool. You got a, you got someone there who's not close to 30. Okay, 35, uh, 38. So there's one, two, two people in this welterweight division. Two fighters that are under 35. Two. Two. Unbelievable. 17-0 and 0 for Shamil Mezarov, who beat Logan Storley, who is a monster. Monster. First person to finish Logan Storley. As you guys know, Logan Storley had two losses, and the two losses were by the same fighter. So, pretty impressive for Shamil to do what he did. But, again, and then you go to light, lightweight. I like Pichirky Pitbull. 
I like him. He's never been as good as his brother. Hard task, sure. 25 and 13, 16, 11. Lost, got destroyed by Clay Collard, who. Pit, Patricky Pitbull should be beating people like that. Should be beating fighters that that fight like Clay Collard. I'm surprised more fighters haven't defeated Clay in the way that he probably should be getting beat, you know? Which I like Clay, but still. 38 years old, 39 years old, 35, 30. All right, cool. Just lost. 31 for Clay. With a crazy style. Put 7 and 4, 25 and 12 overall. Um, boy, what's that name? Who beat Solomon Renfo? Renf Ren Fro, 21, 4, and 2, 31 years old. Cool. 31, 31, 32. I mean, 33, uh, 27. He didn't even fight. Anthony Romero didn't even fight. 12 and 2. But he's 27. Solomon Renfro, 27. Uh, Ali Walsh, 25. Cool. Guess what? He's 1 and 0. He's 1 and 0. These, these rosters are ridiculous. They're ridiculous. Featherweight, Bubba Jenkins, who's not 27. Bubba Jenkins is 36. What are we doing here? 36. Adam Borix, 30. He's 19 and 2. He's not bad, but we've seen how he did against upper echelon fighters. Not great. Pedro Cavillo, 28. Lost to Brendan Lockrain. Even if you thought it was an early stoppage, he's 6 and 6 under the PFL and Bellator. Which is mainly Bellator. Kai Kamaka. I like Kai Kamaka a lot. 29 years old. 13, 5, and 1. This is the best win streak he's had so far. And he's lost a few times. In like the PFL, Bellator, he's lost once. But you see what I'm saying? Lucas Brennan, 23, 9, and 1. Just had his first loss. Against Dimitri Ivy. Okay. Cool. Brendan. Even, even Brendan. 34 years old. 33, 32, 32, 33, 34, 30, 22 for Alexi Perd. He hasn't even made his debut yet. 4 0. Hasn't even made his debut yet. 25 for Braga, who lost to Jesus Pinedo, which I like Pinedo a lot. I think he's very, very good. 23, 6, and 1. There you go. You got some contenders in this division. Jesus uh, Pinedo, I think, should be in the UFC. Braga should be in the UFC. His father, unfortunately, passed away. But uh, yeah, him. Uh, Timur Kirzarov, 28 years old, 15 and 0. This is their best div division. This featherweight 145 pound division, and even that division only has about what five fighters under the age of 30. I mean, come on! And then the women's division is just disgusting. The best best fighter they have. This doesn't make any sense. PFL Bellator record 23 and 4, MMA record 12 and 2. That's flipped. So. Okay, and then you take her out of it, 11 and 4, 6 and 5, 7 and 6, 5 and 1, 2 and 1, 8 and 4. Unbelievable. And then you go down to women's flyweight, 12 and 3, 11 and 9, 13 and 2, 21 and 7 for Liz Camouche, 40, 35, 29, 37, 25. Okay, Dakota Ditchcheva, 11 and 0, 25. Okay, cool, you got someone there. Who's she going to fight? Shannon Young, 30, 33 years old, 9 and 6. I mean, come on. Chelsea Hackett, who's 4, 2 and 1. She's 24, but... I mean, the talent pool is ridiculous. Now, again, maybe I'm being too hard, but if you just look at them, there's good fighters, but there's no good fighters behind them to keep the divisions moving, to keep the divisions great. Even like Shane Burgos, who's 33 years old. He's 1-2 and two under PFL and Bellator. This was like top, what, 10, 15 guy in the UFC. He's 16-5. and five. He hasn't done well. And also, I believe his one win was um, uh, Yamaudo Nishikawa. N oh, gosh. Nishikawa. He won by decision. Clay Collard beat him. I mean, did did I mean he went to war with Clay Collard? And I'm sorry, but Shane Burgos is more technical than Clay Collard. Now, good job for Clay Collard for being able to stand with Shane Burgos, but hadn't really been the same dude since he lost to Edson Barboza and since he had that war. He's he's two and three in those last five fights, but he has not been the same guy. Not been at all. Now he's never been a big. Uh, finishing guy but still still 
That's not the point. He doesn't have to finish people to be the guy that he was before he was knocked out in a war. So, again, PFL has some issues. I understand they're, they're changing their system. I understand that they're trying to make it a little bit better, but these divisions are bad. And also, the commentary team is atrocious. I like Kenny Florian a lot. I like him a lot. I know he's not there no more. I'm just saying. They're cheesy. They don't say the correct things. Their point system is a joke. They may have taken it away. Now, they did just sign Paul Hughes, who's 11-1. and one. Cool. They have Francis Ngannou under their banner now, 17-3. and three. There's no heavyweights here. Who, who's, who gives him a hard time? Valentin Madovsky? Okay, cool. He's a grappler. Yes, he can hit hard, but he is preferably a grappler. 32 years old, you know, has two finishes by TKO or KO. I understand that he just TKO'd Ante. I, I, cool. That doesn't mean anything. He has five finishes. Eight decisions. And he also just got destroyed by Lynn Vassell, who's, again, not good. I know he's had a bit of a career resurgence as of the last couple years. Okay, cool. He beat one, two, three, four, five fighters and just got destroyed by Dennis Goltzov in the third round. Again. And also, he's beaten Timothy Johnson. Not great. Tyrell Fortune turned out not to be so good. Ronnie Marcos. Marks. Not great either. Sergey Kiritanov. Been in a lot of wars. Older fighter as well. Biggest win for him, for sure, is the Valentin one. Biggest win for sure. Lost to Ryan Bader, Phil Davis, and then lost to uh, Valentin um, before that by decision. You know, beat the fraud Liam McGarry. You know, PFL, I understand maybe it'll get better as it goes on, but the problem is, even with Bellator, the rosters are so limited. The rosters are so bare bones. It's just not a product to be worth putting for people to put their time in, let alone to buy pay-per-views. It's crazy. One of the things that makes the UFC so interesting and so fun and so good to keep track of is how 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 in depth it is, how many fighters there is. Because you get bangers after bangers after bangers. Is there slugs in there sometimes? Yes. That's what happens when you get bangers after bangers after bangers. That's what happens when you have a call of like 300 when it's stacked. And the worst fight is because the guy dominated with his wrestling. That's the worst fight on the card. Okay. Cool. Awesome. It, 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 it's, it's crazy to me. But let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about it. What fighter in the PFL you do you think could make a should be signed by the UFC what fighter do you think could make a run to be a really really up upper echelon in the MMA community let me know what you guys think as always peace